talk about something which is very important. Asubuhi katika kipindi hiki pia tunaenda kuzungumzia swala moja ambalo pia ni muhimu sana. How to raise up people to serve God? Jinsi gani ya kuinua viwango vya waumini kuweza kumtumikia Mungu? How we ourselves can be raised up to serve God? Jinsi gani Mungu alivyo tayari kutuinua tuweze kuinua na wengine? And how to lead the church? Na jinsi ya kuweza kuliongoza kanisa so that more people can serve God. Ili watu wengi waweze kumtumikia Mungu. It's very important for us to understand this. Ni muhimu sana asubuhi ya leo tuweze kuelewa jambo hili. That God's plan is that the you know the uh, the the apostles the prophets the pastors the teachers and the evangelists kama mpango wa Mungu ni huu mitume manabii na walimu na wachungaji kwa na wajinsi kwa pamoja will build up the saints waweze kujenga hisia ndani za watu so that each person would do his ili kila mmoja aweze kusimama katika wajibu wake. To build up the body of Christ. Kuweza kujenga mwili wa Kristo. And also one day we we'll all have to stand in front of God. Pia siku moja ili sote tutakaposimama mbele ya kiti cha enzi. One day each one of us here will stand in front of God. Siku moja sisi wote tutasimama mbele za Mungu. And God will ask us. Na Mungu atatuuliza. What we have done for him. Umefanya nini kwa ajili yake? How is our life? Maisha yetu yakoje? And we all have to present to God. Na sisi sote lazima tutawajibika na kujibu mbele za Mungu. Our lives and our ministry. Maisha yetu na huduma zetu. And how we bless people. Na jinsi gani tumeweza kubariki watu? And then the Bible says that our works will be tested with fire. Maandiko yanasema kwamba kazi zetu zitajaribiwa kwa moto. Some people's work will be burnt away. Watu wengine kazi zao zitachomwa na kuteketezwa. Some people's work will stay. Lakini watu wengine kazi zao zitajaribiwa. And God will say you're good and faithful. Na wale watu ambao kazi zao zimeimarika. Wewe ni mtumishi mwema. But for some people God will say you are wicked and lazy. Lakini kwa watu wengine Mungu atawaambia nyinyi mlikuwa watumishi wa ovu ondokeni siwajui. Which one do you want to be? Unataka uwe katika upande gani? Good and faithful servant? Mtumishi aliye mwema na mzuri or wicked and lazy servant? Au watu watumishi wa unyonge na wazaifu. Which one do you want? Unataka kwa upande gani? Mtumishi mwema. Good servant. Okay, very good. Now, we we want to be good servants. We we don't just do the ministry ourselves. Ukitaka kuwa mtumishi mzuri, usifanye huduma wewe kama wewe. We want to raise up people. Lazima uinue viongozi. We want to lead them to serve God. Inahitajika uongoze watu kuweza kumtumikia Mungu. First is on the first day we talk about how to experience the Holy Spirit. Siku ya kwanza tulizungumzia jinsi gani unaweza kuhisi mguso wa Roho Mtakatifu. And how to lay hand on people. Na jinsi gani unaweza kuweka mikono yako juu ya watu. How to experience the Holy Spirit. waweze kuhisi mguso wa Roho Mtakatifu. And how to um, You know lay hand on people to reach out with the gospel. Jinsi gani unaweza kuweka mikono zako kwa watu ili waweze kupata injili. And also how to build up the spiritual life of people. Jinsi ya kuweza kujenga na kuimarisha kuimarisha imani za watu. So on this line here I will talk about how to serve how to raise up people to serve God. Katika kipindi hiki nitaenda kufundisha jinsi gani unaweza kufundisha watu wainuke na kuweza kumtumikia Mungu. So it's very important for each pastor and each leader to have this heart of the Holy Spirit. And each leader na kila kiongozi to have this heart uweza kuwa na moyo huu. We want to raise up people. Kwamba lazima ukuze watu. I want to say this. Nataka niseme hivi asubuhi ya leo. One person who is willing to serve God. Mtu mmoja ambaye anaenda kumtumikia Mungu is more powerful than 1000 people ana nguvu sana kuliko watu elfu moja who don't want to serve God ambao hawamtumikii Mungu amen amen one person who wants to serve God ana mtu mmoja ambaye anamtumikia Mungu who wants to find way to bless people ambaye anataka kutafuta njia za kubariki watu who want to improve in one ambaye anataka aweze kuimarika jinsi ya kumtumikia Mungu he is more powerful than yeye ana nguvu sana kuliko watu elfu moja au watu elfu kumi wasio kujua Mungu haleluya and then for strategic ili uweze ministers for for strategic ministers kwa wale watumishi ambao wako katika mpango mzuri Christians 
or leaders who have found the strategy of God one person can be more powerful than one can be more powerful than one million Christians so I hope that you see the importance of raising up leaders. Okay, now I'm going to describe the process. First of all, we have the teaching about the love of God. We can come to God with confidence. We can think of and join God's love. I'm loving God. God loves me all the time. And when they learn that, they experience the peace and the comfort on the swaying of the body that came from the presence of God. So I would observe the people there are some people who are really zealous there are some people who want to love God more and who learn well and then I will talk to these people I will invite them to come back for more sessions of praying to God to have regular sessions of praying to God and I will observe the people there are some people who are more devoted and they are more concentrated in learning and they are willing to serve God now I give opportunity to everyone but there are some people who respond better than others for instance Jesus chose the twelve he did not choose a large crowd he chose the one who were willing to follow him and we want to give everyone the opportunity but there are some people who are more responsive to God and then we say we go on to do evangelism they are more willing to participate they are more willing to pray together so I will observe who has a stronger heart to follow God I will also talk with the people individually to understand the relationship with God I want to understand how they are and how they handle their problems and if, if they have problems, I will lead them how to grow. And then among the congregation, I will find some people who are more willing to serve God. And I have some requirements for them. They have to write or record testimonies. How they handle the problems. How they follow God. And what they want to do to serve God. And I, when I found some people, they learn how to handle the problems in their life. And they are willing to serve God more. First, I let them observe me when I answer to people. When I counsel people, I let them observe me. They will watch how I listen to people. How I respond to people. How to help them overcome the problems. 
kukumbuka yale matatizo. How to raise the people to serve God. Jinsi ya kuweza kuinua mioyo za watu waliopondeka ili wamtumikie Mungu. And then I will tell them what I've been doing. Baada ya hapo utawaambia ni nini ambacho umekuwa ukifanya. How I help this person. Jinsi unawe unavyowasaidia watu. And I told them na utawambi. In the future you can help people like that. Baadaye nani pia mnaweza kusaidia watu kama nini? Haleluya. And in all our meetings katika mikutano zetu zote we have a time of counseling and training for people. za kuweza kutoa ushauri na kufundisha. That we allow time that we counsel people and and uh, pray for the people. Mama tutatoa nafasi ya kuweza kutoa ushauri na kuombea. So I give the chance for these people to counsel people and pray for others. And I want to find out how they are doing. What are the difficulties? How they can overcome the difficulties? How they can overcome how they can become better? So in the process katika katika utaratibu huo I see which leaders can do better utaangalia ni viongozi gani wanaweza kufanya bora zaidi And I will assign more to that leader Na au sasa ndio utakao wapa majukumu zaidi Hallelujah opportunity to everyone Usitoe nafasi kwa kila mmoja Hallelujah If they willing to give me a testimony Wakiwa tayari kukupa ushuhuda wao How they handle the problem Jinsi wanavyokabiliana na changamoto zao How follow God Jinsi wanavyomfuata Mungu I'll give them the opportunity to serve God. So what I mean is, in all our meetings, we have a chance to reach out to the people. For instance, in this church, what time is the Sunday service? Morning, eight to nine. Okay, eight to nine. You start early, okay? Now, but what I would do. Kila mtakachofanya after the service baada ya kusanyiko then i have time to counsel the newcomers utakuwa na nafasi kuongea na wageni waliowaumini wageni waliowaingia to see how they are ili uone jinsi walivyo what are the needs the problems wana mahitaji gani mtaji leo kuingia kanisani hili i will counsel them na uweze kukupa wapa ushauri i'll pray for them uwaombe i'll encourage them uwatie moyo walipovunjika moyo that way they can be more steady in their faith ili waweze kukua katika And I will train my leaders to do the same. So either before or after the meetings, we have the chance to counsel and pray for people. Na kuombea wenye mahitaji. And raise up people. Ili uinue kwao vya watu. And also I also give time to that the leaders can come together. Na pia utoe nafasi kwa viongozi ndani ya kanisa. They would discuss how we've been doing. Waweze kujadili ni jinsi gani tumekuwa tukifanya. In what area do we need improvement? Na maeneo gani tunahitaji tufanye mabadiliko? Amen. And I will train people in different areas of ministry. Na lazima uweze kufundisha watu katika huduma mbalimbali. I will train people how to counsel and pray for people. Fundisha watu jinsi ya ku jinsi ya kutoa ushauri na kuombea. I will train people how to do evangelism. Utafundisha watu jinsi ya kufanya evangelism. I will train people how to raise up the spiritual life. Fundisha watu jinsi ya kuinua mioyo za watu waliopondeka. I will train people how to lead worship. Fundisha watu jinsi hata ya kuabudu ndani ya kanisa na sifa. I will can I train people how to share the testimonies? Fundisha watu jinsi ya kuweza kushuhudia. Amen. I will train people how to give messages. Fundisha watu jinsi ya kuweza kuhubiri na kufikisha ujumbe. Like tomorrow and Monday I have two two meetings. Kama kesho, kwamba kama kesho ni na kesho na Jumatatu na mikutano miwili. I have two separate people to will share in this who would uh, give messages in these meetings atatumia watu wawili kuweza kutoa ujumbe katika mikutano hizi miwili i train these people ili kuwafundisha so when i'm away ili unapokuwa hapo kanisa they can do the ministry wao waweze kuendeleza huduma amen so everything i do kwa makila kitu wao unachoweza kukifanya i train people to do the same fundisha na wengine ndani ya huduma waweze kukifanya ukiwa hapo and i give them opportunities wape nafasi that they will serve they can serve God too. Kwamba waweze nao pia kumtumikia Mungu kwa na kama nafasi yao. That way people have a sense of belonging. Kwa njia hiyo waumini watahisi kuwa sehemu ya huduma. 
The church belongs to them. And they can enter different ministries. Now I want to do a contrast. If in a church, every time the pastor preaches, and people just listen, and they don't serve God much, every time they just listen, and then they go home, they won't know how to serve God. How are you in and they don't have the chance to serve God. One day they stand in front of God. God asked them, what have you done for me? They will answer, my pastor has done a lot. I say, but God says, I'm not asking about your pastor. I'm asking about you. What have you done for me? Oh, he said, I listened to the sermons. Anything else? Not much. I just listen. I thought my job is to listen. Now, do you want your people just to be listeners? And not doers. So we have to find a way to raise up people that they will serve God. First, I minister to them. I encourage them to serve God. I encourage them to have a close relationship with God. And then I give them the way to enter into ministry. They have to give testimony how they handle their lives. How they handle their inner problems. How they love God. How is the relationship with God. So I know how they are. Amen. People who have problems in life, and they don't take, up, take care of the problems, I will first help them to take care of the problems before they serve God. Because if they serve God, they can hurt other people. And in a church, I give them opportunities for everyone to learn, everyone to participate. When I counsel people, they can sit by me and see how I do it. And then later I give them a chance to do it. And I ask them to evaluate what they have been doing. And then I find out who is growing. And I let them lead the other people to serve God also. So, in my church, in my training program, and in the churches I go to, I always want to raise some people to serve God. And I always observe the people. Some people have the heart to serve God. I will tell them. I like your heart. You have the heart to serve God. I know this how you did it. I appreciate what you did. And this is how you can improve. And you can become better and better. So in my heart, I always have this heart to raise up people to serve God. Now at this point, you know, because if I just talk, you won't learn much. You won't learn much. I'm going to demonstrate. Is there someone here who wants to serve God? 
one person anahitaji mtu mmoja anayetaka mtumikie Mungu you want to serve god unataka umtumikie Mungu you want to go a higher level unataka uinuke katika kiwango chako cha utumishi i will ask you to come out nataka nikuombe uje mbele i will counsel you at kushauri and you see how i do it na nyinyi wengine mtaona anavyochauri bwana yesu asifiwe amen so is there any one person unataka mtu mmoja aje hapa ambaye yuko tayari tumtolee mfano atoe ushauri na sisi tuone anavyofanya it can be anyone yeyote aje It can be a leader already. It can be a leader. It can be. Anaweza kuwa kiongozi. Wow. Wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. Is it sign? Ah, aibu za mimi. Very good. Yes. He's a leader of the youth. Yes, he's the chairperson of the youth. I like your courage. Anafurahia na ujasiri aliyonao kusimama nyi wazee mmekaa mnakondoa macho kodo kwa hiyo. You have courage. Una ujasiri. Now this is how I observe people. Hivi ndivyo tayari ameshapitisha mtihani wake. Baba huyu katika katika waumini mlioko humu ana ujasiri. Immediately I will be positive response. Tayari sasa ataenda kuwa na mtazamo chanya kuhusu huyu. Do you realize you have courage? Umegundua kwamba una ujasiri? You have courage. She saying yes. Okay. Are you happy for that? Unafurahi kwamba una ujasiri kuja tu hapa mbele? Can you say I think I have courage. Hebu sema nashukuru Mungu nina ujasiri. So I always want people to learn. Kwa wakati nyo nyakati zote huwa natamani watu waweze kujifunza to appreciate who they are. Kuthamini kuthamini wajitambue wao ni wakina nani to appreciate a heart for god kutambua moyo wao katika mungu now sasa now you can turn so you can turn toward me you can turn okay. okay now i want to ask you anataka kuulize describe why you want to serve god tell me tueleze ni kwa nini unataka kumtumikia mungu you can use the mic so everyone can hear you why do you want to serve god Because the Lord has done wonders in our life. Okay. Now, I'd like to know what wonders has he done. Kwa Mungu alikutendea nini ya sita? Now, listen. I pay uh, listen to what he said. Sikilizeni sasa anachotaka kufanya. The moment he said, she said, Gani mtu tu aliposema, God has done wonders in life. Kwa Mungu amefanya makunda, amenifanyia. Remember yesterday I said Unakumbuka jana tulisemaje? Quit to hear. Kwamba uwe mwepesi kusikia. So when she said wonders, akisema tu kwamba miujiza. Immediately I heard that. Akisha sikia tu hivyo. I want to find out the, about the wonders. Sasa anataka afuatilie Mungu. So I can push her more. Ili aweze kumuinua zaidi. Amen. So I'm demonstrating to you. This is how onyesha ni jinsi gani mtu anapokuja uweze kutembea naye na kumuinua. This is how I show people how it comes. Hivi ndivyo anavyoonyesha jinsi anavyotoa ushauri. Nilikuwa mgonjwa lakini Mungu alinipa. She was very very sick. But the Lord hid her. Ndio. Ndio maana Mungu akantendea mambo The Lord done wonders to her. That's why she wanted to serve him because she was very sick. She was almost crippled. But the Lord healed her legs. They are now okay. She's walking. And your legs now have no problem. Kamba sahi huna tatizo la mi 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 gu tena. Ebu kanya kwa chuo. No problem. Any problem? Yes. Wonderful. Bizuri sad. Now can you describe that what happened how it happened that you were healed Ebu elezea kwamba nini kilifanyika mpaka ukapona Niliombea na chunga changa mimi mchunga juu ya That the pastor is from the, the translator is my pastor pray for me Pia nilitumaini Mungu Also she also she was hope she was she put her hope in She put her hope and trust in God That's why she was healed as sickness. Wonderful. Have you told people about your testimony? Umesha shuhudia yoyote kuhusu ushuhuda huo? Sijui mnaona kinachoendelea. Eh? Yaani mtu unaenda naye kulingana na ali? Alivyo. Uendelee kumuinua, unamfuatilia ili aendelee kufunguka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndicho kitu tunachofundishwa mahali hapo watumishi. Haleluya. Amen. What did she say? No, I was just briefing them that They follow. They see what you are doing, so that they can also do the same. Okay. 
So have you have you to share this testimony to people? Yes. Okay. She has. Okay, wonderful. So that is a wonderful story you have. Okay. Now tell me what you are doing now in ministry. Okay. Okay. She's she's a praise and worship singer. Okay. Now in the praise and worship, how did you feel? Wakati she feels peace and harmony and joy while singing for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you enjoy that? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, has, have you thought of raising up more people? To love to praise God. And how do you do that? How do you raise up people? She encouraged them. She encouraged them to come. When she's worshiping the present, she encouraged them to accompany her. Hallelujah. Let, let me ask you. Have you faced any resistance? Some people are not willing. She has met several challenges. Okay. Can you say the challenges you have? The reason I ask is so that I can help you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And can you speak louder, please? Speak louder. Uh -huh. That's one thing you can overcome. Speak louder, like me. Louder. And speak with confidence. Some people speak bad words to her. Okay. Like what? I mean, you really don't mind. Yeah. Some say she's singing poorly. Okay. Some say she's proud of herself. Okay. Some say she can't praise and worship the Lord. But others encourage her. Okay. Okay. I. When I hear this, I feel sorry that happened. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry that some people hurt you. Did you sometimes want to cry because of those words? Yes. She cries. Yes. She's a human. So it's not easy, right? It's not easy. So you can understand some English, right? Oh, she. Ah, yeah. she can just grasp one word. Okay. She knows <laughs> yes and no. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not easy. I know it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I can see she has some tears because I would feel her feeling. You have such a good heart. And you have such a good heart. You have such a good heart. You have such a good You 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 and I want to say that. 
I want to say that. Everyone who serves God sometimes are hurt by people. Kama kila mmoja anayemtumikia Mungu, huwa kwa wanyakati moja au nyingine anajeruhiwa au anadharauliwa na watu. And God cares about you. Lakini Mungu anakujali. God cares about your feeling. Mungu anajali hisia zako. When you cry, unapolia, God saw you. Mungu alikuona. He wants to comfort you. Anataka akutie tumaini jipya. I let you know that you are very important. Nataka nikwambie mpendo, wewe ni wa zamani sana. You are very special. Wewe ni mtu wa wake pekee. Do you believe that? Unaamini hilo? Even when people say negative things to you, Hata watu wanaposema maneno mabaya juu yako. You are still very special. Wewe bado ni wa zamani kwa Mungu. And and you are a good example. Na wewe ni mfano mzuri. Now what I did just now. Kitu alichofanya sasa hivi. I was comforting her. Alikuwa anamtuliza na kumpa tumaini. I was not trying to help her overcome the problem. Hakuwa anamsaidia kwamba sasa jinsi gani atatoka katika tatizo lake. Before we overcome the problem. Kabla haujamshauri mtu aweze kushindana na tatizo lake. I want to let her know I feel her feelings. Lazima usogee hisia zake aone na wewe uko pamoja nayo. I want to let her know she's very precious. Lazima ujifunze kwamba yeye ni wasamaye. Lazima yeye ajue kwamba unamsamini. So she feels be accepted. Ajihisi kwamba yeye sasa licha changamoto alizonazo bado anakubalika mbele ya Mungu. Amen. God cares about you and I care about you. Kama Mungu anakujali sana hata na yeye pia na wewe pia unamjali. And I know that one day you bless more and more people. Ninajua kwamba katika nyaraki kwa ninajua kwamba baadaye wewe utakuwa baraka kwa watu wengi. Yes. So this this is you know comforting and encouraging. Anachofanya ni kumpa tumaini na kuinua kiwango chake. Now some people may start by saying wakati wengine wanaweza kwanza na kusema don't worry about those people. Ah, wewe achana na watu usiwajali. Don't think about those people. Usiwafikiri hao watu. Don't teach, don't eat garbage. Usile usile uchafu. I will do that later. Tafanya hilo baadaye. The first I let her know I know your feelings. Kitu cha kwanza unapotaka kumshauri mtu lazima ujue hisia zake. Haleluya. Kwamba hata na mimi pia nilijeruhiwa kama wewe. Kuna nyakati nimekuwa nikimwulilia Mungu Bwana Bwana nisaidie. I know it's not easy for you. Najua sio vyepesi sana kwako. When we feel the feeling Unapotoa hisia zake naye akaona kwamba na wewe mna hisia zake na zimekuwa hisia zako then we can comfort the person. Hapo unaweza kumtia tumaini. Haleluya. Ask you this question. Ngoja nikuulize swali hili. When I said this to you, nikisema hivi kwako, how do you feel in your heart? Unajihisije ndani ya moyo wako? Nice amani. She is feeling peace. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Nzuri sana. Because I want you to feel peaceful. Kwa sababu na mimi pia lengo lako la kushauri ni yeye apate amani. I want you to feel you are important. Nataka uhisi kwamba wewe ni wa thamani sana. You are precious. Wewe ni wa muhimu sana. Even though this is you know the first few days I saw you. Hata kwa hizi siku chache nilizokuona. I like how you dance. Amekuwa akimuona anavyofanya kazi yake. I like how you did it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yaani ufanye ile mtu atabasamu kama alivyo tabasamu. Sawa sawa? Yes. Umemaliza biashara. Now I'm going to ask you this question. Sasa nataka muulize swali hili. Now, this morning I talk about how not to be affected by As people. Ya leo amezungumza ni jinsi gani usiasiriwe na maneno ya watu waliokuzunguka. Now I want to say one thing too. Notice my tone of voice. Nataka uangalie. Hebu sikiliza sauti inayotumia. When I talk to her, how was my tone of voice? Anapoongea naye sauti yake inakuaje? Very soft. Very right. cool. Now, you notice that when I preach, I have two tones of voice, actually more than two. Angalia kwamba wakati anapokuwa anahubiri, anatoa ana sauti mbili au tatu. Sometimes I'll say, "Wow, God is wonderful." Wakati mwingine anaweza kuongea kwa sauti kwa Mungu sana, haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. And sometimes I'll say, "God loves us very much." Lakini wakati mwingine anasema kwa sauti, "Kwamba Mungu anatupenda sana." God cares about us. Mungu anatupenda. So we want to change the tone of voice. Lazima uwe unaweza kubadilisha sauti zako. Okay? Now, 
This morning I talk about how not to be affected by people. And at this point I'd like to ask you. If you apply what I talk about this morning. To these people who hurt you. How would you do it? Now you think for a moment. Think for a moment. Kwa dakika kwamba kuna watu ambao wao wanaokuzaranga katika huduma mafundisho ya leo. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Anarudi sasa kwetu. Instead of teaching her again, badala ya kuenda kumfundisha tena, I ask her to think for herself. Amemwambia sasa afikirie ni jinsi gani atatumia mafundisho aliyoyatoa. Amen. This is very important. Hilo ni jambo la muhimu sana unapokuona leo watu katika kanisa. Because people have intelligence. Kwa sababu watu wana fikra zao. She has intelligence. Ana akili za kumbukumbu. She is a wise person. Yeye ni mtu wa hekima. I respect her wisdom. Ana heshima hekima yake. I let her talk about how she handles handle it. Yes. I, I let her talk about how she handles it. Sometimes we teach too much. We want to let people talk. Inaitajika tuwache watu na wao waseme. Hallelujah. Okay. Now. Anampa sasa nafasi. How can you apply it? Eh, hey, hengu nafanyaje. Kwa masomo tuwe jifunza subuhi. Nitaomba mungu. Nakini tuendelea mbele. She is going to pray to God. Pray to God. Yes. Sitafata maleno yao. To throw away the garbage. Okay. Yes. Pia ntazili. Uo. She will continue praying okay. and discard the garbage, those words, she will okay. put them away. Okay. Very yes. good, very good. It's only son. Okay. Do you want to say more? Okay. Now, how about when you think about these people? Je, hao watu sasa unapokuwa je, inakuwaje unapokuwa unafikia kuhusu wale watu? Why did they say something like that to you? Kwa nini walisema maneno hayo kwako? Kwa sababu wanazunja nani? Masamu. What did she say? She is going to forgive them. Okay, okay, very good. Now let me ask you first. Now because I do listen to different things she has said. Kwa nisi wa sifu. Hapa anacho jaribu uangani mawasiliano kati yake na nani? I want to ask you what do you think about your singing and your dancing and your leading worship? What do you think? She feels happy and the joy and the body becomes very light when she is serving the Lord. Okay. Let me ask you do you think you are doing a good job? So say me yes. Okay, okay. Now, <laughs> do you think you sing well? Unafikiri unaimba vizuri? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, do you think you lead worship well? Kama unafikiri je unaongoza timu ya kuabudu vizuri? Yes. Okay. Do you really believe that? Unaamini hivyo? Yes. Okay. Now, we might not all be perfect. Tunaweza kuwa wote hatuwezi kuwa vizuri sana katika mambo. Perfect is here. Then perfect is here. Au ukamilifu uko juu. We might not be perfect. Hatuwezi kufika kiwango cha juu zaidi. We might be at different levels. Tunaweza kuwa kiwango cha kati. But when we can do a certain job, certain ministry, lakini tunapokuwa tukiendelea katika swala la huduma, that's enough already. Hiyo inatosha. We don't have to be perfect. Hatuhitaji kuinua mtu kizaidi juu zaidi. Because First Corinthians chapter two, four, chapter four, verse two. Wa Korinto wa kwanza sura pili mstari wa kwanza na wanne. It says, "What is required of the minister is that he is faithful." Anasema kila chuo taji kaka chika huduma ni man. Now, of course, there's you know requirement of the quality. There is a requirement of the quality. Kuna uitaji wa ubora. Now, if someone sings out of tune. Mtu anapoimba sauti mbaya katika kwaya then he, sh he or she should not be a, a, a praise leader. Uh, if someone sings out of tune 
then he should not be a, a priest Kwa here. Kwa wanapo imba sauti ambayo iko inje na zile ambayo zinaimba basi, si kwamba mtu huyo hawezi kuwa kiongozi wa uimbaji. Or if someone dances out of sync with the other people. Basi kama mtu atakuwa akicheza na anacheza kando na ile style ambayo wengine wanacheza, he should not be dancing. Si kwamba hafai kuwa anacheza. But if you know, now someone is perfect here but this person is not perfect. Eh mtu mwenye mwingine anaweza kuwa kwa ukamilifu pale juu na mwingine yuko hapa. He can still serve God. Huyu mtu pia yuweza kumfanyia Mungu kazi. Now I, I will ask your pastor. Pastor, do you think she does a good job in the praise and worship and in the dancing in her ministry? Does she do a good job? Yes. Now, I will ask you this. 100% is perfect, very good. Yes. How many percent will you give her? How many? Percent. How many percent will you give her? In terms of percentage. Yeah, uh, if I... 90%. 90%? Yes. Do you believe that? When I'm in here, Yes. Are you happy with that? Umefurahiwa na hiyo? Your pastor says 90%. Mchungaji wako amesema katika asilimia 100 atakupa asilimia 94. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Nimefurahii ishwa na wewe. Now you notice all the way I'm encouraging her. Unagundua kwamba kwa vile vyote vile nimejaribu kumuimiza kumtia moyo. So the people around me they feel encouraged. Kwamba watu walioko kando kando yake sasa pia wapate kutiwa moyo. And I hope you all we are all doing this. Na ninaamini kwamba sisi sote tunafanya mambo haya ili kuimiza watu. Okay? Let me see the time. Acha nitazame muda. Uh, we'll finish this point and then we'll, we'll let you go. Now, let me ask you, next time if someone says something unpleasant to you, how can you handle it right away? Yes, right She said that she will think about it then from there she will go and pray and forget about it. Okay? Okay. Now, do you think it's easy to forget about it? No. No, it's not easy. Now let me ask you this question. Are there some people who do it many times to you to hurt you? Je, kuna watu ambao wanafanya mambo ya kukuchukiza wewe kwa mara nyingi? Yes. Okay. Now, when you know if this represents someone who hurts you many times. Basi chupa hii imesimama kwa niaba yule mtu ambaye anakuchukiza mara nyingi. Now we want to care about that person. Sasa ndio huyu mtu ako mbele yako sasa nataka umshughulikie. But this person has a pattern. Lakini huyu mtu ako na mzigo. Now what do you think are some reasons why the person continue to hurt you? Je, unafikiria mtu huyo ni sababu zipi ambazo zinamfanya aendelee kukuchukiza wewe? This is discerning. This is not judging. It's discerning. Who ili ni kufanya utafiti wa kufahamu sio kuhukumu. Mtu huyu ako mbele yako ni mtu ambaye anaongea maneno ya kukudhuru. Utashughulikaje? Utamu utafanya namna gani huyu mtu tayari sasa hizo ako mbele zako? Na anakuongea, anakutusi, anakuambia maneno machungu utafanya nini sasa hizo hizo? She'll keep quiet to just let him or her continue to speak whatever she needs. What I'm saying is this: This person has a habit of hurting people. Buyum tu akonata biya yakuduru watu. Maybe they have been hurt many times. Labda pia yeye ali adiriwa mara nyingi. Maybe they have a habit of hurting people. Ama hawa watu basi wako na tabia ya kudhuru watu. We want to forgive them. Tunataka tuwasamehe. But the next time when this person talks to you, lakini siku nyingine mtu huyo akuja kukuongelesha, you know that he or she might say something negative. Unajua kwamba yeye upende usipende ataongea jambo ambalo ni kinyume na wewe. So we prepare ahead of time already. So kitu ambacho inafaa ufanye uwe tayari umejiandaa ndani ya moyo wako mapema. When he talks negatively, 
already prepared. I've made up my mind not to be hurt. I've made up my mind to bless. Mimi sasa katika mawazo yangu nishajiandaa kumbariki. So being ready is important. Kwa hivyo kuwa tayari ni jambo la msingi. But at the same time I don't hate them. Na kwa hivyo wakati ule ule basi usimchokie. Okay. Now, I'm going to jump to this next point. Nataka kurudi kwenye kipengele kingine sasa. Where do you think how can you go higher up to serve God? Do you want to go higher up to serve God? Si ungelipenda kwenda juu viwango vya juu zaidi kumtumikia Mungu? Yes. And what areas do you think you can go higher up to serve God? Unafikiria katika huduma wa Mungu ni sehemu zipi ambazo ungelipenda kwenda juu zaidi? Okay. The ministry of singing, area of singing. Okay? Okay. So how do you want to go higher up? How in singing? How do you go higher up? So unafikiria ukitaka kwenda juu zaidi utaenda namna gani juu zaidi katika kuimbaji? She will be in prayers and practicing. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now actually when I'm here I can give you some lessons on voice. Na kwa kweli vile kama yeye yule pia ni mwalimu wa uimbaji anaweza kukusaidia na zile sauti za uimbaji. So uh, for those who are interested in singing wale ambao basi wako na ile talanda ya uimbaji I can tell you briefly how to practice. Anaweza waeleza jinsi ya kufanya mazoezi ya uimbaji. Cool. How many of you are interested in uh, praise and worship, leading praise and worship? Wangapi kwenye umati huu ambao wako na kipaji cha uimbaji na pia wana wangelichochewa kuingia katika uimbaji kwa ishara ya mkono. Okay. Okay. Now, so what I'm doing I'm trying to find out what areas she wants to improve. Ehe kile anachofanya anajaribu kutafiti kuona ni sehemu ipi ambayo angalipenda kuna wili. And I find ways how to help. Na nitafute njia za kumsaidia. Now we going to finish right here. Tutamalizia hapa. Basically what I've done is kile ambacho nimekifanya cha msingi I find out her motivation to serve God. Nimepata kwamba ahe kuchochewa kwako kwa kumtumikia Mungu I found out what she wants to do na pia she has been doing na pia amejua kile anachotaka kukifanya ni kile ambacho amekuwa akikifanya and uh, when she serve God does she get strength na kwamba anapomtumikia Mungu anapata nguvu and then what are some difficulties na pia kuna changamoto how to overcome those difficulties na jinsi ya kushinda zile ngumu and, and how to improve na jinsi pia ya kuna wili I do it to my leaders. Huwa ninafanya hivyo katika viongozi wangu. So I can raise them up to a higher level. Ili kwamba nikaweze kuwainua katika viwango vya juu. Because of time we will stop here. Na kwa sababu ya muda tutasimamia hapo. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Mungu akubariki sana. And in this um right now I'm going to demonstrate in 3 minutes time. Katika muda wa dakika tatu nataka kufanya mfano mwingine. How you can practice your voice? Jinsi unavyoweza kufanya kufanyisha sauti yako mazoezi ya uimbaji. Just 3 minutes. Kwa dakika tatu. Okay? Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. To sing better, first you have to keep the air in your lung. Kwa kuimba vizuri, lazima ukashikilie pumzi yako kwenye mapafu zako. So when you inhale, ili kwamba unapopumua ndani, you keep your chest expanded. Unapanua, unaacha kifua chako kimepanuka. And then you practice singing once one uh, one tone. Na unaanza kufanya mazoezi kwa kuimba ile sauti moja usipobadilisha sauti. Continuously. Ukiendelea. So it's you can practice that. That's one thing. Here in the same way kwanza. sound is continuous. Na sauti hiyo inaendelea ya maana yake pumzi yako umeiweka kwenye mapafu zako kwa. Hallelujah. And now like this. Hallelujah. 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 Usifanye vile amefanya yeye kuimba ukiwachilia ukiachilia. Imba ukiendelea. Hallelujah. And also it's like yawning. Yoni. Na pia ni kama ile 
kupanua mdomo ili si unajua ile kupanua mdomo kama umechoka when you practice you practice like jone eh aha unapofanya zoezi unafanya ni kama yule mtu anayepiga mkiayo because when you yawn you open up the back of your the mouth manake unapopiga miayo unafungua sehemu yako ya mwisho ya mdomo kabisa so it's like this oh 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 like that kitu kama hiyo you practice like yone unafanya ni kana kwamba unapiga miayo now my voice is not very good because it's still recovering Mo so you practice oh oh practice your name unafanya unaweka mazoezi ni kama ile mtu anayepiga miayo and then you have to strength from here na nguvu zinatoka hapa kwenye kitovu pa ha 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 pa ha pa ha 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 pa Oh, so it's from here. And also, Napia, the throat is relaxed. Unaacha koromeo. yako iwe imepumzika kabisa. You don't sing like this. Hallelujah. But you say hallelujah. Una hiyo sauti nyororo si ile ya kwanza ile imeendelepa kabisa. So you put your hand here. Unaweka mkono wako. Make sure it's relaxed. Unahakikisha kwamba imetulia. Haishikamana. Oh. And also even this applies to talking. To talking. This applies to talking. Hata pia katika kuongea kwako. Now you notice when I sing you can hear the voice around me. Ha, oh, 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 you can see the, hear the sound around me. Eh umegundua kwamba wakati anapoimba unaona ile sauti imemzunguka imemzunguka kabisa. And when I talk the same thing. Na pia anapoongea ni hivyo hivyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sound comes out. Sauti oh, inatoka. Ha. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it comes out like that. Inakuja sample hiyo. Now Africans have very thick voice. You have thick voice. Wa Afrika mko na zile sauti zimeenepa kabisa. Zimekula worse than me. Sauti nzito kushinda yake. So if you practice this, then your voice will become better much better. Basi kama basi utafanya mazoezi, sauti yako itazoea na ikue taratibu. And you can express feelings when you say. Na wakati unapoimba ama kuongea, uwe mtu wa kuonyesha hisia. Let me demonstrate feeling in singing. Wacha nionyeshe hisia katika kuimbaji. Now some people just say always like this. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. It's always excitement. Eh eh watu wengine wanaimba wakifanya jinsi yalivyofanya, hiyo tu ni ya kusisimua. And you can sing with feelings. Lakini pia waweza kuimba na hisia. Hallelujah. Yes Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I love you. It's not just always saying hallelujah. You can say something like God loves us very much. He cares about us. But you can hear my voice there is resonance. Resonance. Resonance means it's not just here the sound. The sound is in my head and around me. Unaposikiliza sauti akitoa, si ile sauti inayotolewa kwa meno tu, lakini ile sauti inayotoka nje inamzunguka inasikilika, ina watu wanaisikia vizuri. Like this. Oh, the sound is around me. Mm-hmm. Sauti inamzunguka hivi. Oh, the sound is around me. That's resonance. Sauti imemzunguka. The more you can learn to join. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, and the breath. Oh, then your voice will become better. Hey, 
kulingana vile utaweka katika mazoezi jinsi vile unavyopiga miayo na sauti kuna nguvu zitoke kwenye tumbo uimbaji wako na sauti itatoka ikiwa nyororo kabisa okay okay that's all now hiyo ni saa hii god bless you all mungu awabariki wote I hope you learn how to counsel help people. Na najua kwamba utaweka kwenye mazoezi jinsi ya kushauri watu. It takes time to learn. Inachukua muda kujifundisha. Okay? God bless you all. Mungu awabariki wote. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay.